add a cursor to a screenshot, image, or video imported into Camtasia. Let's make a video using three images that show a step-by-step -step process. To get started, I've dragged the three images from my media bin to the timeline. In the Properties panel, I'll use Scale to increase the size of each image to remove distractions and create focus. To add a cursor to my images, I'll go to Visual Effects, then click and drag the Cursor Path Creator to each clip. When I click on a clip, the cursor path appears on the timeline with points indicating where the cursor motion occurs in the video. A curved line appears on the canvas showing the path of the cursor. I can move the playhead along the timeline to view the cursor's movement. In the first clip, I want the cursor to move from the side of the image to the Analytics tab at the top of the screen. I'll click and drag the first point and place it to the side of the image, and then click and drag the second point to move it above the word Analytics. It's a bit of a curvy path and doesn't look very natural. I'll use the handle on the second point and change the shape of the path to look more natural. Then click Finish Editing. The cursor is really small. In the Properties panel, the Cursor tab is already selected. I'll make the cursor larger by increasing the scale. That looks better. I'll take note of the scale percentage I used as I'd like to apply that to the cursor in the next two clips. Let's edit the cursor path in the next clip. I'll move the first point right above Analytics and the second point to My Account. In the Properties panel, I'll update the scale to match the percentage in the first clip so it's consistent throughout the video. I'll repeat these steps once more for the third clip and change the line type to edit the path. Let's see how it looks. It looks good and I'm ready to share it with my team. To learn more, check out our other tutorials.